How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and today's video represents something of a new direction that Makers Muse will be going into. Today we're reviewing the Little Bit Space Kit. This is not a 3D printer, has nothing to do with 3D printing, it has everything to do with educating the next generation of makers. Let's check it out. So the idea behind Little Bits is simple. It's essentially modular building blocks for creating simple electronic circuits so that anyone of any age group can tinker with electronics without fear of wiring something up backwards and blowing it up and being really disappointing. Little Bits allow instant gratification to actually what was quite complex not too long ago. And it's this idea that in 2011 that Aya Badia tried to solve and well, did she succeed? Little Bits today has had more than $15 million of funding and is in use in over 2,000 schools around the world. And I've been lucky enough to be lent this kit from International Grammar School from Melissa Silk to try it out and see what the fuss is all about. So the reason I'm so interested in this kit is because of STEM or STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and maths. And in Australia, STEAM is the buzzword for schools. We wanna get our primary school kids into these areas and previously it wasn't really possible. So the thing that makes Little bit so special is the little magnetic polarized connectors that every component has. You can't join them backwards, you have to join them the right way. And when you do, they satisfyingly snap together with magnets and the connection is made. And that's why Little Bits is so exciting. You could give these electronic components to a primary school kid and give them the instruction booklet, which is quite easy to understand, and say, have a go. They're not gonna break it, they're not gonna run it backwards. And these modules are extremely durable and reusable as someone personally who's tried to teach robotics to 14 year olds, it's just too easy to wire a battery backwards into a speed controller and blow the entire thing up. This won't let that happen no matter how hard you try. And the really cool thing about the little connectors is once you're done with the project, you take it apart and do something new. The instruction manual for the little bit space kit is really good. It's got basic instructions for wiring the various modules and then it's got little value add sections for describing what you're doing in them. For example, making a spectrum. It explains what prisms can do, how they can diffract light, and that's what you're doing in that module. Now that's not to say that little bits are basic. There's a huge amount of smarts going on underneath each block. And quite frankly, I don't know how it so intelligently knows what's going on in the rest of the circuit. All I know is that it works. So let's try some of the projects. An energy meter. So here we go. We've got a power source, light sensor, and a number. Right, that's pretty simple, so let's get our power. Let's get our light sensor. That's our, our trigger remote. Light sensor. And our number. Which is, 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 is there. Right. And we need a battery, of course. Alright. So, power. Light sensor. That's the wrong way. And how quick's that? That's crazy. It all comes together to know what's going on to make these projects work without any programming at all. It just it just works somehow. So let's get a battery. And plug her in. And then flick the power switch. And there we go. So what that's doing is reading us. 99 is the obviously the maximum it can it can output. That's the sensor. So if I cover it up, you know, getting still a little light coming through my finger. Cover it up even more. Five, nine, and then slowly uncover it. And that's instant fulfillment for not much work, but you're still doing something physical with electronics. So downside a little bit. They're really expensive. At the moment, a kit like this costs you 150, 160 US. And that's a lot of money for an individual or a parent wanting to encourage their, their younger kid into electronics. Whereas a school, I can see them being able to afford the bigger kits, but they do start to run into the thousands once you start including lots of these modules, which you need for a classroom environment. Now, that's okay for a lot of schools, but for some where budgets are quite tight, 
I don't see these being incorporated quite yet. Although the government could certainly help a long way by funding that. And as I said, STEAM is big in Australia and there's a lot of money being allocated to funding STEAM in schools. So who knows? So I guess the next question to ask is how do these bits compare to other systems like Arduino or Lego Mindstorms even? Well, they definitely have their place. You can't give an Arduino to a primary school kid and expect it to last very long. I certainly have blown up a fair share in my time and I supposedly know what I'm doing. So in terms of primary school kids, this is the best bet in my opinion. Lego Mindstorms is fantastic for robotics and that sort of level of programming, but this gives you the flexibility of various other electronic modules in a very simple format. And as a final note, you know you're onto a winner when something gets copied. So these are little bits and you can also buy something called InnoBits, which look the same, have pretty much the same functionality, but they're cheaper. The cool thing about InnoBits is they are Lego compatible with the same brick spacing, so that's one plus. So thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of Little Bits. I certainly think it's a very worthy kit for Steam although it's still a little bit expensive and maybe limiting for some schools. If you want to see more reviews on maker products like Little Bits and more electronics products, let me know in the comments. I'm never going to go too far out of left field in terms of going off 3D printing, but this is definitely in the same vein. If you want to see more of it, let me know. So don't forget to subscribe and like this video, guys, and I'll see you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later.